Hi everyone, welcome to Ansible Tower Learning Series for Network Engineers. This is the 11th video on Ansible Tower Learning Series. In this video, we will see how we can get inventory details from networks for executing Ansible Tower templates. In the previous video, we have seen how to get inventory details from networks for executing local playbooks. And there we were executing this playbook 01 netbox iOS facts and we have seen how how to add the variables and how to get the inventory details how to do the filtering all these details we have seen in the previous video here we will see how we can add that in Ansible tower so here to add netbox as an inventory source we can add it in this way we, i have one inventory here netbox inventory if we click on that and these details got auto populated from netbox we don't have to bother about this it will get updated automatically so here once you add the inventory you need to go to sources and under source you need to give the project so I have given a name called local DAP, then sourced from a project and I have selected my local GitLab project. So this is my local GitLab. All these I have explained in the uh, previous videos. So you can have a look into that. And here in the local GitLab project, I have a folder called netbox and inside netbox, I have the 02 inventory file. And here also you can verify that here it is under netbox it is 0 to underscore inventory for the local execution also we were using same inventory file earlier so this is same file so we are using same file in Ansible tower as well now let us go to Ansible tower and here we can give the exact location of the file and then you need to give overwrite and update on launch option because overwrite uh, once you give overwrite it will automatically remove all the host and update it whenever you run the playbook otherwise in some cases if you remove the host from your netbox even if you remove it from netbox it won't get updated in your Ansible tower once you give that and save it you can click on this button the start sync process Yeah, it is successful you can see the status here sync is completed and once we have this source available then we need to go to the template here I already have a template configured with the inventory so here the steps are same here we need to give a name for the template then the inventory inventory I selected netbox inventory what we have created earlier netbox inventory now this can dynamically get the inventory from netbox then project uh, local gitlab the same project i'm using for even my playbooks so here i mapped the netbox ios facts playbook which we have seen in the previous video this is for getting the facts from cisco devices so netbox ios facts this playbook we were using in the previous execution so same playbook i used in tower as well and then credentials i have added it in ansible itself so these are local credentials and here now it is device type ios v now we need to change this to so for that let us just try getting the inventory once 
then box underscore zero two inventory and first we will try getting the stage routers i'll copy this and change this to stage routers before changing that we will verify that in our gitlab here if you open that and not this one let us open the playbook now it is manufacturers cisco let me just change this to device role stage routers i'll save this commit i'll push all these i have explained in the earlier ansible tower series i'll add that video also in the description and notification how to add it into the github desktop and how to add it in the pycharm and all so now let me re refresh this you can see this got updated now this will run only on r1 now we will go to the template click on launch If you look into the jobs so here it is trying to update the inventory first and then it is trying to run the playbook and before that it uh, it was executed on SCM update as well so this was trying to update the SCM then it is trying to run the playbook Here now it is getting the R1. The R1 facts we are getting here. Now, if you want to change this to R2, what we can do is we need to change this to prod routers. So let me update it here. commit those changes go to template I'll launch the template again now again this will do an SCM update and inventory update okay now this is communicating with r2 okay execution is successful now now let us change this to manufacturers cisco so that it can execute on both devices I'll update my GitLab with the new data and we'll go to template and launch the template again. Now this should execute on both devices. So now this is executing on both devices. In all these cases, we were using same inventory file and same playbook. Only thing what we did is we have just changed the 
host entry similar way if you are want to add additional device what you need to do is we just need to come here and add the device into one particular group or one site based on that filter playbook can execute the task so we can update the data here and execute the task in the next video we will see how we can update all these details using ansible playbooks you don't have to manually update anything you can just run a single playbook and update all these details into inbox i hope this video was helpful for you to understand how we can run a playbook from ansible tower and get the inventory from netbox dynamically thanks for watching see you in the next video